Yeah, this is a bum hunter reporting live on Wednesday. Uh, here's what we got to develop a situation. We got the one main bum's got the unregistered vehicle parked outside a pallet full of, load of, full of a load of garbage and human fecal. And I don't believe that's a proper way to clean it up. He had a load of garbage last night, and it went somewhere at, after 10 o'clock. I don't know where this guy's hauling his stuff to, but I don't think it's a local dump. I believe they close probably around 6, I don't know. But, yeah, he's right across Wendy's there with a load full of human fecal. I mean, that's no joke, folks. I mean, I've seen it, uh, eyewitness of it. I'm going to get some more video later today. Uh, maybe go into the bum bunkers and investigate and see what's inside of them. Anyway, uh, yeah, this guy's got, you know, uh, airborne pathogens and fecal floating around the back of his truck. Been driving back and forth from bum camp to pile it pretty regularly. I'd say it's a non-registered vehicle, no license plates on it. Now, law enforcement says it's okay as long as, uh, I, I guess as long as he's not on the road maybe, I don't know. He usually hangs out down there at the stop sign begging for money. You guys probably seen him, big tall uh, gray haired guy, got big horse teeth. I think he's known as Jeff. Anyway, I caught him the other day in that same vehicle dumping garbage out behind a pallet truck stop in Fernley, Nevada. Called law enforcement. They went out there, caught him in the act. Um, law enforcement left. Next thing I know, he gets in the vehicle, try, takes the license plate off. Looked like that's what he's doing. I'm not 100% sure. Drove up to the one bum camp, parked it, got on his bicycle, went down to the stop sign. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I don't have a very good camera. I'm going to try and get a better one. And I started begging for money again. You know, and as you can see where I'm filming from, my concerns are these homeless people, especially the bunkers they got dug in. I mean, you don't know if you got rapists, pedophiles, uh, thieves, what you got living out there. Uh, my bear, one of my concerns, not to mention the human health safety issues we got out the water treatment plant where all the fecal piles are, and that stop sign there, they they really like to beg for money there. And I notice they'll be begging for money and they'll look over at my house and, and a car will drive by and, and they'll look back at my house and another car will drive by. And, you know, it's just a matter of time before these people, if that's what you want to call them, I mean, they're not acting like them very much. Uh, it's a matter of time for these people to take a look, get so desperate and take a look at my house and come over here and, you know, I do something to my family. You know, I have a you know, young son and girlfriend. Um, you know, I was really concerned about them. You know, I mean, and we got this motel here. You know, it's, I mean, it's get a lot of concerns about that. No telling who's rolling out, in and out during the night. You know, Joe Pedophile, whoever. That during the spring or fall, excuse me, it's usually full of onion trucks that rattle in and out all night. You know, this guy, he, he's he's pretty good about things. He parks there. He's quiet. He only wakes me up every now and then. Then you got the uh, good old truck wash over here, uh, which they've been pretty quiet lately. I was having some issues with them screaming and yelling profanity all hours of the night. Doors wide open. I've seen got them quiet down. Get a lot of action over at this truck stop. I mean, this is... Sometimes that's where, I, that's where I drink my coffee most of the time, you know, just checking out. I mean, I've watched these bums run from the motel with duffel bags they stole and go out in the desert 
ravage through them, scatter it out throughout the desert, take what they want and go. Same thing from the pilot, stealing stuff over there. You know, it's pretty regular. I get up about 3 o'clock in the morning, make a pot of coffee and smoke a few cigarettes and watch a show. Hey, yeah, a while back we had an incident. I heard woke up, heard some sirens. There's a white truck come in from over there. The guy drove around the back about where that yellow fire truck is back there, or whatever it is. I can't quite make it out, but drove back there and got out, and uh, the law enforcement was chasing him. Uh, he got out. And couldn't really tell what was going on. I think he might have reached for a rifle. They say I don't know, but. They unloaded at least two clips on him, and at the time, the truck wars people, they were out trying to watch the show go on, too, and there was bullets ricocheting in my direction, the people from the truck wars, they were running from cover, people from over at Wendy's, they were running for cover, the guy uh, drove back around, went back in front of Pilot, got all this pickup, ran the store and started bleeding. It, you should see the people come pouring out of power. Anyway, that's just some of the activity we got going on on a pretty regular basis. You know, I mean, the bums are in and out all the time. Um, just last week, there was a band about eight of them every night. They would pour in and uh, spread out and bum for money. And, you know, they're all living back there at bum camp with no facilities. Uh, those couple girls out there, I don't know, maybe they're taking lunch break from the stop sign on some of these truckers' trucks. But I noticed, you know, they're in and out of a lot of trucks. Uh, maybe, maybe that's the Panhandlers Union. You know, you get a break every hour. You know, it doesn't matter which truck you take. In, you got to take it in a truck. Anyway, this is a bomb hunter and hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I can get a little bit more exciting video for you subscribers out there that are watching and maybe get a few that actually care. Thank you very much.